Hey everyone, so I want to keep you posted on what's going on. There's been quite a bit of stuff going on. I got rid of the table. Guess what I built? I built a full six foot length worm bin. And what I'm going to, the reason for that is because I'm pretty much going to leave this for the ones that are um, having little cocoons. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to take the cocoons and dump them in here where they'll be growing. It's quite a, a big room. I want to show you this thing here. So I will be doing this harvesting coming up. If you want to see the results, okay, you want to see if this works, uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't yet so that you can be, I'll show you if this works or not. This is my first time creating this. I've never seen it really. So I wanted to create something that uh, would answer the question how to separate these worms from this wet median. Like, I don't know if you can see. This is pretty wet stuff. Very wet. So they're gonna have to do it themselves. So let me quickly explain the principle, okay? Because of this stuff that I've got here, the worms are in a um, very wet substance. You want to let it dry in order to sift it, okay? So a few ways you can do things. You can sift the worm castings, and the worms essentially stay on the top, and the castings go down the bottom with the eggs. But when it's really wet, it doesn't work very good. Another thing you can put is one of these cups. You make some holes on the ends, all around the cups, leave the bottom as it is. You stick this inside one of the trays with food, and the worms will come into these little holes, and then you can capture them from there. Just grab a hold of it. You got a lot of worms and they've separated themselves. So with that still being the case, I wanted to have the worms separate themselves. Okay guys, so this is my invention here. It is uh, basically allowing the worms to do the work on their own to be sifted out I'm not going to sift them because the stuff is really wet okay so I'm not going to do that I'm just showing you guys what I created subscribe if you want to see this if it worked or it didn't so basically the principle is very simple it's two pieces here okay All right I got it resting on my newly built worm bin it's not necessary you can put this on one of the big trays I think so but anyway this is just designed specifically for here okay now what you'll see here is essentially you need an area where worms will go down they will do it based on the light okay so if you got a light they'll want to go down the reason why this is in two parts is because what I'm going to do is put dirt on this lower bit castings whatever and what it does is flushes it up essentially to the same level as this okay once there's dirt down here then I simply drop the worms here they're very wet it's gonna be moist I'm not gonna sift it I'm not gonna do anything like that the worms will then travel down because of the light that's above them they'll travel down on their own into that medium okay just set that straight all right so the whole idea is to then scrape them okay so I've built this thing this scraper thing okay so basically the first scrape I can go up to here so you can see the first scrape will scrape a portion here okay this much the same thickness as the one by three or one by two it'll scrape it by just going like this it'll scrape it and then what will end up happening is it'll fall down into my bin all the dirt that gets scraped is here as well okay for the deeper scrape I just simply flip it like that and then guide it through and guide it through and hopefully by that time what I'm pushing out is dirt no worms because the worms are down there that it, when I feel that it's time I've got enough in there, then I can simply get this off. 
and then put the worms, slide the worms wherever I want. Okay, gather them up, whatever I want to do to put them in wherever I want. But this is it, this is the platform. So the whole idea again, worms go on here. They want to get away from the light. I'll bring the light lower. They want to get away from the light. So they'll dig, they'll go down deep. But if there's no dirt, they'll be reluctant. So that's why you want to put some dirt in that lower area. When I mean dirt, I mean whatever you want. Castings, compost, doesn't matter. Whatever, it's down there. Then they'll go down because they want to escape the light. Essentially, the mucky stuff, the stuff that can't be sifted is sitting on the top, waiting to be scraped and then put into this bin here. So that will have eggs and maybe little tiny worms. I'll be putting them in this bin here. That's it. <laughs>